Remove the SD card. Remove the 8 screws from the back plate. Use a spudger, wedge it between the R1 bumper and back plate, then twist down the spine to release the clips. With the spudger, lift the black ZIF connector up. Pull on the blue tab of the ribbon cable until it's removed from the connector. Remove the three screws. Take out the red stick. With the spudger, lift the black ZIF connector up. Pull up on the blue tab of the ribbon cable until it's removed from the connector. Remove the three screws. Take out the left stick. Burn off the glue and melt the solder to remove the capacitive wire. Remove the joystick cap. On the new stick, the exposed end of the wire will touch the solder pad by the letter marker. Add flux. Solder the capacitive wire to the pad. Clean the area with IPA. Add hot glue or E6000 to the soldered area to protect against wire stress and oxidation. Let the glue dry thoroughly. On the second stick, burn off the glue and melt the solder to remove the capacitive wire. Remove the cap. Press on the cap to make sure it seats properly. On the new stick, the exposed end of the wire will touch the solder pad by the letter marker. Add flux. Solder the capacitive wire to the pad. Clean the area with IPA. Add hot glue or E6000 to the soldered area to protect against oxidation and wire stress. Take a spudger and lift the ribbon cable up and drop in the new right stick. Make sure the R is facing north. Slot in the ribbon cable and press down to close the ZIF connector. Note, the ribbon cable is seated correctly when the white line is directly under the closed ZIF connector. Lift the ribbon cable up and drop in the new left stick. Make sure the L is facing north. Slot in the ribbon cable and press down to close the ZIF connector. Note, the ribbon cable is seated correctly when the white line is directly under the closed ZIF connector. Leave the back plate off and turn on the steam deck. When the deck is fully booted, press the button on the back of each joystick board. They are tactile so you will feel when they are pressed. Place the back plate on the steam deck and gently add pressure until you hear and feel the clips fasten. Install the 8 back plate screws. Let's check the joystick configuration. Hit the steam button. Settings. Controller. Calibration and advanced settings. In the joysticks area, we're going to check the dead zone and the default placement of what the steam deck reads as its default position of the joystick by hitting Y. The left joystick is resting up and to the right as its default center position. The right stick is resting at a default center of up and to the left. Fix this by going into desktop mode. Hit the steam button, power, and switch to desktop. I recommend using a keyboard and mouse when in desktop mode. Click the steam deck icon in the lower left of the desktop. In the top right of the pane, in the search area, type console and run it. Maximize the console window if it isn't already and type thumbstick underscore cal and hit enter. Make sure both joysticks are resting in their default positions and press A. Rotate both joysticks twice fully extended 360 degrees hitting the rim of the case fitting for the joystick and press A. Exit console. On the desktop, double click return to gaming mode. The joysticks will be corrected and resting in the middle of the calibration test area. Adjust the dead zones to your liking. If the dead zones are set to virtually none, you can accidentally cause an undesired movement in game. Like and subscribe if I helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.